Hello and welcome you all back once again to Marine Mechanic. So in this video we're going to see two more examples for the KVAR or the reactive power. So one must wonder why I'm doing so many videos on KVAR or the reactive power. In the past there have been a lot of queries asking me to make such videos on reactive power so that I'm giving a lot of examples and making people understand the concept of reactive power with the best with which what I have. So the audience or the viewers can choose whatever examples they like and then understand the concept of reactive power. So in this video we're going to see two examples. One is the famous beer mug example and the other would be a man drawing I mean drawing or pulling a rock. So these are the examples which we are going to see in this video. We'll start with the beer mug example. This you must have seen or witnessed in various uh, social networking sites like Facebook or Twitter. There will be a beer mug showing some beer and foam in it and uh, kilowatt will be marked and KVR and KVA are marked on the beer mug. So did we really understand what does the try to explain? If not, this video will make you understand what the beer mug principle try to convey you. Alright, so uh, here is the beer mug which you must have seen in various networking sites. You have a beer mug and you are going to pour some beer in it. As you pour beer, let's say the level is over here, there will be a lot of foaming will be there. And this foam is unavoidable as you pour beer into the mug. So this beer, the amount of beer what you pour inside the mug is what you are going to actually drink. Let's say you are feeling very thirsty and to quench your thirst you are going to have the beer. So it's the beer which is going to quench your thirst. So comparing thirst to the power requirement. Alright, so as you are feeling thirsty, that's the power requirement. You are going to have sufficient beer, you are going to provide power or provide energy to quench the thirst. So beer is going to be quenching your thirst. So as you pour the beer into the mug, it foams up. However, this foam is unavoidable and you are not going to drink the foam. Even though you sip the foam up, it is not going to quench your thirst. So the foam is supposed to be the KVAR factor and the beer itself is the kilowatt factor. And both combined together is the KVA, totally what you pour from the beer bottle. So, as you all know, the power factor or cos phi or cos theta, whatever you say, is the true power by apparent power. So, the true power is kilowatt by apparent is kVA, the total whatever content you pour from the beer bottle. Along with the content what you pour from the beer bottle, we also get something like beer plus the KVAR. That's the foam. I rephrase it as power factor is equal to beer by or beer plus foam. And it is this form is similar to KVAR which is not desirable. You can't avoid or you can't eliminate KVAR completely. So as the amount of foam increases the power factor decreases or the amount of effective beer which you are going to have or which is going to quench your thirst decreases. So electrically we can say this as as the KVA, KVAR increases, kilowatt decreases and the amount of useful power available to the electrical equipment is less. That's the beer uh, example. Hope you guys have understood this. Let's go to the second example.
So here is another example where let's say this is Mark and Mark is pulling some load of let's say 100 kilograms and Mark is going to tie a rope this way. This is the rope. I'll just indicate it with a thicker section. This is the rope. So you might question why Mark does not, let's say this is Mark, and let's let's say why Mark does not have this rope just tied to his hip. Obviously, if he ties the rope to his hip and pulls this 100 kg, his hip bone will break. That's the reason he ties it up with the shoulders like this and then pulls, so that the effort is distributed from the shoulders to the rock or the load. So there arises an angle theta or phi. This angle arises or when this angle arises then the effort applied or the load pulled the effectiveness reduces. Let me draw it over here. Instead of pulling the load directly through Mark's hip that's the kilowatt what is actually required but we are not doing it for the safety reasons as Mark's hip will break. So the effort actually is applied as KBA and as there is an angle we get KVAR. This means the electrically voltage and current are not in phase. As these are not in phase there arises a component called power factor which is here is theta and this let's say this is a triangle and this is the hypotenuse side and this is the opposite side and this is the adjacent side of a triangle so power factor cos theta is adjacent by hypotenuse that is adjacent is kilowatt by kva if this angle is very very less let's say mark is short very short so the distance will be less and this angle will be less as this angle is going to be less let's assume let's assume mark is very very short and this angle approaches to zero or uh, almost zero for practical reasons let's assume that so cos of zero is sorry cos of zero is one and thus the power factor approaches unity which, which means the effort mark applies over here over here are very similar there's only negligible difference so all electrical equipments must reach this point where the power factor is unity KBAR is undesirable. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video with, the, with these examples and in the next video we'll talk more in depth about KVAR without any examples. Let's get deep into the subject and understand it. Hope you all enjoyed this video. For the next video click on the link which is displayed on the screen now and a small request from you all. There's a small icon showing thumbs up on the left hand corner of the screen. I like the thumbs up button very much because that gives me a feedback whether my video is good or not and I can improve on my presentation and content. So if you really like the video, press the thumbs up button and do write in your comments and do subscribe. Thank you for watching.